Indian workers were racing to finish preparations for the Commonwealth Games just days ahead of Sunday's opening ceremony. Things have come a long way from last week when conditions were termed unlivable for the thousands coming from countries and territories in the former British Empire. Hundreds of competitors have been moving into the athletes' village, including the previously critical Scots. Scotland chairman Michael Cavanaugh said all's well. But I was very high. They're absolutely delighted with the village. They've only just gone in for accommodation, and uh, and that's that's pretty good too. Um, certainly the dining, the international zone, the training facilities are all wonderful. And our athletes are just looking forward to uh, taking part in what we hope will be a great games and win medals for Scotland. Some Welsh have arrived and some English have moved from hotels to the Athletes' Village, according to team manager Carolyn Searle. The rooms that we've moved athletes in today are clean and ready and we are comfortable that everybody is safe. Uh, What we need to do now is keep up the pace with the staff that we're working with in the village to make sure that everything is ready uh, for when our next wave of athletes move in tomorrow and the next day and the next day. The Australians, too, said it was all systems go for their team. Mission Chief Steve Monaghetti wasn't even worried about reports of a snake found in the South African quarters. I think we're okay from a snake point of view. We're Australians, we're used to uh, dealing with the most venomous snakes in the world, so a couple of snakes is not going to be an issue for us. The chairman of a local organizing committee assured a crowd of journalists things have been fixed and he's not heard fresh complaints. New Delhi's chief minister, busy unveiling a new tourist bus Monday, also expressed confidence. Many in India were hoping the optimism wasn't misplaced and that the games will turn out to be a cause of celebration and not further embarrassment. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.